Hello everyone, myself Dr. Manoj Kumar, working as an assistant professor in department of EC at MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today I am going to deliver a lecture talk on IEEE 488 bus. This is overview of my presentation. First of all, I would like to discuss the basic concepts, classification, construction, working principle of IEEE 488 bus and some of the application of IEEE 488 bus. First of all, we would like to know what is IEEE 488 bus. IEEE is nothing but the international organization. The IEEE full form is that Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. So, IEEE is nothing but the international organization which sets some rules and regulation for the data transfer. So, IEEE 488, we can see that it is also known as GPIB, General Purpose Interface Bus, which is nothing but the standard for the communication between the instrument and controllers. So, whenever there is data transfer between the instrument and controller, we have to use IEEE 488 bus. Suppose, if you do not follow IEEE 488 bus, can we transfer the data? Obviously, the answer is no. There will be the transfer of data, but it would be not meaningful. Why? Because the data is not transferred according to the rule set by the international organization which is also I, known as IEEE 488. If you do not follow the IEEE 488 rules and regulation for the data transfer, the meaningful data will not get transferred from the device to the controller. Here in the picture we can see that one computer is there and this is the device. This device is trying to connect with the computer or controller. Controller here means computer. So, by using one USB cable, we can connect the device. So, what happens? USB is also a international, international set of rules which is also known as universal serial bus which we will discuss the later. But whenever you want to transfer the data from computer to the device or device to the computer, we have to follow IEEE 488 bus. If you do not follow IEEE 488 bus, we cannot send or receive the data from the device to the computer or controller. So, what is its purpose? It is enable efficient data transfer and control among test and measurement instrument. So, IEEE 488 bus purpose is that it enables efficient data transfer and control among test and measurement instruments. What are its key parameters? IEEE 488 can support up to 15 devices on a single bus. Bus here is nothing but the data transfer medium. It may be wire medium, it may be optical fiber medium. Bus here is nothing but the medium through which the data will be transferred. So, obviously, here the medium is wire. Another key parameter is that IEEE 488 support up to 1 Mbps data transfer rate that is quite high and a third thing is that it supports the parallel interface with 8 bit data line. Another feature is that it has 8 bit parallel data line. So, in this way it is different from USB. Nowadays we are seeing that USBs are being used for data transfer from device to computer or computer to device. This USB is one 
वन सिंगल डाटा लाइन ट्रांसफर सिंगल डाटा लाइन हियर इट हैज पैरल एट बीट डाटा लाइन सो ऑब्वियसली आई ट्रिपल ई फोर एट एट विल हैव हायर रेट ऑफ डाटा ट्रांसफर बट द ओनली डिमेरिट ऑफ आई ट्रिपल ई फोर एट एट इज दैट हार्डवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज हार्डवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज मोर एज कंपेयर टू यूएसबी डिवाइस बिकॉज मोर नंबर ऑफ डाटा लाइन्स एंड वायरिंग्स आर देयर बस आर देयर सो इट हैज मोर हार्डवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी देन यूएसबी सो डेट्स वाई दिज आई ट्रिपल ई फोर एट इज नाउ बींग रिप्लेस बाई यूएसबी डाटा ट्रांसफर्स so how to classify the ieee 488 by its role we can classify as that it has talker device that will send the data listener device that will receive the data and third thing is controller that will manage the data flow example computer so ieee 488 has talkers listeners and controllers by functionality we can classified as active devices passive devices active devices will initiate the communication or data transfer passive device will respond to the command from the controllers so these are some of the main components of ieee 488 so other thing will other features about ieee 488 we will know that it has 8 bit data line already i told that it has 8 bit data in parallel it has some handshake mechanism what is handshake handshake mechanism ensures the synchronized communication if there will be no handshake data may be transferred with some error or it may not be completely transferred so handshake provide a synchronization communication suppose when batsman is ready then only bowler will throw the ball otherwise batsman can be hit anywhere so like that if you have two devices the synchronization must be required by using the handshake so that is handshake mechanism third thing is control line which manages the device roles connector it has 24 pin standard connector for interfacing it has 24 pin standard connector for interfacing and obviously a shielded cable to reduce the electromagnetic interference so these are some of the key components of ieee 488 data lines handshake mechanism to ensure the proper synchronization for proper flow data flow control lines to manage the devices connectors it has 24 pin connector for interfacing and it has shielded cables for reducing the electromagnetic interference so here we can see that 24 pins connector so we have data 1 data 2 data 3 4 5 6 7 8 these all are data lines then we have some control lines then we have ground lines like that it has 24 pins lines so i triple e 488 has is based on 24 lines connection here with the help of block diagram also we can see that each devices can talk listen or control each other so this is the basic working also device a when device A is talking other will listen then device b is talking other third will listen like that they can talk and listen to each other what is the working principle so there is first that role will be assigned controller assign roles who will be talker who will be listener then we have data transfer once the role is assigned we have data transfer parallel data transfer using 8 bit 8 data lines then we have handshake mechanism which ensures the 
रिलायबल एंड सिंक्रोनाइज कम्युनिकेशन एन आर एफ डी इट इज नॉट रेडी फॉर डाटा वेन एवर इट एक्नोलॉजिस एन आर एफ डी मीन्स इट इज नॉट रेडी फॉर रिसीविंग द डाटा एन डी ए सी कन्फर्म्स द डाटा एक्सेप्टेंस डी ए वी डाटा वैलिड सिग्नल द वैलिड डाटा ऑन द बस एंड ऑफ ट्रांसफर कंट्रोलर इशू कमांड टू टर्मिनेट द कम्युनिकेशन सो इन दिस वे आई द डिवाइस कनेक्टेड ऑन आई ट्रिपली फोर एटेड बस कम्युनिकेट विथ इच अदर सो कंट्रोलर इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ दिस आई ट्रिपली फोर एटेड विच विल असाइन द रोल्स एज ए टॉकर एंड लिस्नर once the role is assigned they can transfer the data to each other so what are the application of ieee four rated bus it can be used for the test and measurement systems connecting oscilloscopes spectrum analyzer signal generators it is also widely used in the laboratory automations coordinating multiple devices in experiments manufacturing testing quality control in electronic production etc so i typically four rated bus has got multiple applications thank you